This is your weekly love reading. Um, I am a Salem descendant on both sides of my family. So if it gets chatty in here, don't be scared. I think that you found out some information. Um, someone was being shady. This is making you put your guard up. You're introspective. You're going inside yourself, watching um, what this person's doing and thinking about how you should handle it. You're, you're stuck on what to do because you want this happy ever after with them. You do. You want the happy ever after. But you can't forget. You can't forget what they did. And whatever they're doing, whatever secrets they have, you're, you're not going to be able to let it go out of your mind. It's going to knock the bottom out of this relationship. I think that you're going to have some type of communication come in pretty quickly. You're going to be forced to make a choice. Sorry, that's so loud. Three of Cups, whoever did, whoever's coming in, they cheated on you in the past. Yeah, Nine of Swords. They ripped the foundation out from under this relationship and they left you in so much pain you couldn't even sleep. So whoever this is, P.O.S. I don't like them already. All right, Aquarius person. It looks like they've gone inside the, it looks like they've gone inside themselves. I just saw 7-Eleven, could be Twin Flame. They may have gone inside themselves and tried to do some self work. The way that they feel about you is they want to commit to you. They want to be reliable and show up for you. They don't want to disappoint you again. You, Eight of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're stuck in your head about this. You don't want to be, but you are. And you're afraid to commit to this. You're going to be afraid to give this a chance. Both of you are like, you know when food, spirit is like giving me this image of like when you're cooking and you smell the food in the air. Or someone's cooking and you get hit with a waft of it and you're both like, oh my god, that's how you guys are about each other. Six of Cups, yeah. This is like a soul tie. They they regret this breakup. In the future, oh, yeah. And they in the future they are hardcore going to be regretting this breakup and acting like a player. You are not handling them very nicely, are you? It's kind of manipulative. But you recognize the soul tie, you, them, and spirit. You're aware of how things go. All right, spirit. Thank you. Um... They were just pessimistic, very negative in the past. They're going within so that they can find their best selves and show that to you. King of Pentacles, Spirit, King of Pentacles, thank you. They want to give you this Ten of Pentacles relationship. They want to give you that foundation back. They want to undo what they did. Spirit, Eight of Swords. Clarify how it occurs. Feeling, please? Look at you. You're like... Eh, no. You're in your head about this because you feel like you were just done so wrong. While you're not full on accepting um, commitment here, you are entertaining the, the dialogue of it. You're not saying yes, I'll date you, but you'll let them talk to you about it. The well. Let's clarify. <clears throat> I think that you both just like have shady energy between each other. You're both when you communicate, it's very calculated communication. 
you both go on guard because you both have the propensity to be manipulative. Sierra, thank you. The tower in reverse, the way things go, keeps them up at night. Um, they regret exploring their options and ruining the relationship as they did. King of Cups. Oh my god damn, Aquarius. Fucking them up. King of Cups in reverse, clarified by King of Swords in the reverse. King of Swords is the king who wins wars. King of Cups is like the emotional manipulator masterminds. Like, that's how you're approaching this person. <laughs> In the future, that's how you're gonna handle them because they fucked you over. You're gonna be guarded. Don't you fall. Too many. Clarify for your pentacles. Thank you. Okay, the way that that fell, when you guys begin to, to, when you in the future begin to focus on bringing this connection together with spirit, because 10 of swords, it's not over and you are, even though you have other options, you're going to choose this person, this King of Swords in the reverse is gonna go upright. You will be open to accepting commitment in the future because you do feel passionately about this person. Spirit, one more, please. I feel like there's one more for you. Just give me a second. Yeah, but because you know they have the propensity to get sucked into toxic shit and they, they have secrets, you are going to just watch that. You're gonna be mindful of it and that's you're gonna communicate with them based on how they've acted in the past so that you don't get hurt in the future. Accepting what happened to you, accepting how this went, and that it was like people just have these moments where they, they lose themselves. Accepting the unaccepted and unexpected. You don't know how this is going to go, but you're going to accept this choice. You're going to trust that the universe has um, your best interests in mind, gratitude. Focusing on being grateful for the positive things in your life. Learn how to manifest. And if you know how to, then practice that. Blossoming out of this. You're going to see beautiful change. Ah, the end of a tough cycle approaches is going over acceptance and the unexpected. With trust and gratitude. You, I'm going to pull. Your dreams need a practical plan in the sense that you need to decide what you want. And you can't just tell the universe, well, I'm not sure. Because then the universe will be like, well, how, how do you like this? How do you like this? Like... Decide, make up your mind. Communication is key. Communicate with the universe. And for blossoming and beauty, if you want to see beautiful change, don't let your past hold you back. Spirit, what? Okay. Learning how to be human. God, I feel like spirits like kind of messing with you guys right now. Sorry. Learning how to be human. Um, I always say this about myself in the world, but not of it. Vibes. I feel that. <laughs> My best friend's in Aqua. She's gonna get a kick out of it. One more spirit. One more for Aquarius, please. I feel like Collins, my honest, is gonna like pop. Oh, you 
you've got the love, codependency. Don't let their codependent issues impact the relationship. You need to set boundaries. Let them know in the beginning. You need to be able to trust them and know that they're loyal. So you need to set boundaries and make them show up. We're not just talking. You're going to like require action. Calling in your soulmate twin flame heart to heart conversations. I also call those the heart to have conversations because no one really wants to sit and talk it out. <laughs> Make the effort you deserve love. Someone's acting childish. Spirit. Very soon, the separation will be over. And you'll be in playful energy with your person. You deserve love, so pay attention to the red flags. Um, you can have true love with this person. But just know about their weaknesses, like they can be codependent. anything else yeah this person is going to take this relationship to the next level forgiving and learning this is worth waiting for okay and express your love because i know you like to lock down don't do that i just saw one two one two on the camera oh uh if this resonated for you please like subscribe and share and um check out the people in my description box